Good morning, Polly's Island peeps. Good morning, Polly's Island peeps. Today is Much Love Monday. We're gonna help find a forever home for Ricky. There he is, right Ricardo. there. Hello, buddy. All right, Ricky. It is Monday, February fifteenth, two thousand twenty-one. It's President's Day. Yes. And it is time for your Polly's Island Sunrise, sunrise and surf, surf Report with Dave Clayton and Lisa Clayton. <laughs> and don't forget, Chelsea. Chell Bell. <laughs> Good morning, Chell Bell. Good morning to you, Chell Bell. Happy face. <laughs> All right. All right. And this uh, is Ricky. The star of the show today. He is the star of the show today. He's a Catahoula. Mixed with a beagle. You gonna get his face or just gonna get it back in his head? I think we got his face a little bit. <laughs> He's yeah. excited. He is very excited. Right now, it is 40 degrees out Yes. There. Well, Ricky resides at All for Paws Animal <laughs> Rescue. Right now, that is his home. And he has been there and eagerly waiting okay i'm about a year old yes he's one year old he's excited about the beach yes it's monday pups this week because this is chelsea's day off this week from school because it's president's day she has to go to school wednesday so we didn't want to yeah we gotta roll with it we gotta do this with chelsea since she is the mastermind behind the rescue idea. So Ricky is excited to be out here. Plus, David could not do this without somebody else, let's face it. <laughs> you gotta pay attention to the dog and to the, ooh, look at the ocean today. That's not even a five mile vision. Look at that, it's like, it's so foggy out this morning, sorry. It is foggy. We barely can see the island across the way. And look, you can see none of the houses. Very Sorry, foggy. this is a first. So I'm just like, whoa. So be, be careful if you're getting out this morning. Fog. Sup super mm. foggy. Super foggy on Super Monday. <laughs> so Lisa, you've done some research on what President's Day is all about. Share with everybody. A little bit about President's Day. Okay. Well, President's Day is the third Monday of every February. And it was originally Washington Day because it was to celebrate Washington's birthday because it's in February. <laughs> really, Dave? Well, while you're talking, everybody can So, um, after, uh, <laughs> after so many years, you had a, um, in the 1960s, they signed a bill promoting, <laughs> they want to try to see something of the ocean. I know, but I wonder if I see the dog. He, we see him. Okay, okay. You're cute. Right, he does not look comfortable, by the way. Thank you. He looks like, what? <laughs> I'm not that tiny. <laughs> but no, it's it was um, pretty much set up to have, promote the three-day weekend. There was the belief that having a three-day weekend promotes less absenteeism and more productivity so it's just far enough away from our christmas break that it promotes it's, it's about time for another three-day weekend and so that's what it helps us have and if you think about it we have several Mondays throughout the year that that happens on. So 
So our government is um, hoping that we all had a great holiday, right? Yeah. In that hopes that we will be more productive, right? Yeah. Is that the deal? Just It gives us a three-day weekend. And ironically, this year, the way February, the calendar laid out, it just happened to be the day after Valentine's Day this year for the third Monday of the month. Mm. Feels like next year it's going to be back on a 20 something. Usually it's around a 20 something. But ironically, this year it's a. The third Monday is really quick. If you think about it. <laughs> I know. So we got to tell people a little bit about Ricky Lace. You ready? Aim down here at Ricky real quick right, so they right. can see. We got people out here this morning. So I, I want everybody to see how pretty Ricky is. So Ricky right is beautiful. Well, look at the, um, look his at the markings. markings. Yeah. yeah, the markings. He's kind of got that um, Australian shepherd marking kind of looking. See his head? And um, he's not that big. I was able to pick him up without any problem. And he just wants to be loved. He's he's really a. He's quiet. He is he is good in the car too. We we both said that. And good with children. But look at his little head. Can you zoom? Is there a way for you to check out how cool his little head is? We saw his little head. Okay. We've seen his little head quite a few times. Close. There up. he is, right there. <laughs> there he is. Huh? Nice dog. And you can <laughs> Yes, Leslie, he is a sweetie. Okay. There he is. All right, I'm going back he to the ocean. He's, he knows he's on <laughs> He knows he's on film this morning. He's on TV. Yeah. How funny. Mm. So what time is sunrise? 658. Not really going to get a sunrise. Yeah, so sunrise started 2 minutes ago. Don't think we would have. <laughs> <laughs> this is wild. So the high tide is coming in. Right now, the, the tide is coming in. It's going to be officially high at 10.05 this morning. And low tide will be this afternoon at 4.11. What kind of wind do we have? We have very little wind. It's out of the northeast at about five miles an hour this morning. See if you see any shells, Chubba. This is always a good time. I mean, to definitely look around for shells. You guys see anything? This all. Good morning, Robin. All right. Hey, Ricky. All right. The sweet boy. Sweet boy. So I think this is probably our cloudiest day yet out here. But the ocean is calm and beautiful. Looks like we've got one to two footers. Probably about five to six seconds apart. Oh Lord. Sorry, folks. Oh, goodness. You don't hear him in the face that way. Get him in front of it. Okay. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed your day yesterday and hope you had some very special moments. Right. Or if you had some lemons, you made some lemonade. I'm not sitting on the ground. Okay. Sure. <laughs> I will. Go. Here you go, Mama. What you need? And the phone right here. All right. Chubba, you can hold it with your hands. The phone master. All right, and then you sit right here. I'm just sitting down. I'll watch. There he is. <laughs> Can y'all see him? Yes, sir, I am. Like this, a one-year-old. Yes, he's one. He's fixed. He's ready for a new home. There you go, Chelsea. What do you call him? He's a Catahoula. Catahoula. Mixed with a beagle. He loves the beach. He's our boy. He is. Mm. Right, Chell, you hold him. What? We'll switch. No! I'm we'll Kevin! Okay, you're gonna be the she camera. She's gonna be the camera girl. Yep. Okay. Alright, Chelsea, you gotta do the talking. Alright. Um, you ready to read the good news to people? So they. Sure. Okay. It's short today. Okay. To fear God, stand in awe of God. They have. Right here. That's, oh, okay, that's the sorry. good news. Okay. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Proverbs 9 10. So I think your hand is over no, top right. of the of the microphone. See that? Yeah, that's a microphone. Oopsie. That's okay. I think they still heard you though. Right there. Very good, Carla. Thank you. So I always ask you what that means to you, Chelsea. Mm -hmm. Well, um, like if. What do you, what do you think about that today? Uh. Uh. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't know about this one. How does it, how does it make you more wise to have an understanding? Of how much stronger and how much wiser and how much just to be in awe of God. I uh, think that's how does that make you wiser? Uh, because you know the wisdom of God now. That's right. And He's all knowing and all powerful. There you go. That's so. That's so true. So would it be wise for you to go and run and jump out of a window right now? Would that be wise? No. Because so, you know you can't fly, right? Yeah. So that would be really, really unwise. Because you understand gravity is real. Yeah. So by understanding your limit, your limit... Part of the way, the reason I understand that I'm limited is because I understand that God is not. I am not God, right? And yeah. so that, that helps us with our own wisdom. Understanding who we are is very important. Only God could make this ocean. Only God could make this fog. Only God could make this Kalahula. Kala. Katahula. That's right. Katahuta. Katahula. That's right. Katahula. Only God can make Ricky. So I will tell you for a one year old puppy, he sure is well behaved.
<laughs> Good morning. Morning, you've been rolling in the sand again. We have, we've been rolling around. This is Ricky. Is Ricky? Yes, sir. Hello, Ricky. Oh. Hello, Pop Pop. Yeah. He is good. So, uh, so Greeley, huh? Yes, yes, yes. The smell of money. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, 25 years of Highland Bridge. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, we lived at Highland Bridge. Yeah. So he's very friendly. What's his name? This is Ricky. How is how are you all this morning? Good. Did you have a good day off from the beach? Crazy not being out here. He said, out there in that rain. You didn't miss much yesterday. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking you're there. You're in a rain. I'm thinking, oh, gee. We watched church online and then did nothing. We just watched the rain. The day before we went down and got our second vaccine. Good, good. You're all set. Duly vaccinated. Wonderful. We're going to see if Ricky likes the water. Uh, okay. <laughs> We're going to go check it out. Okay. Hi, Ricky. Hi, oh, you too. <laughs> what do you think, Chelsea? No. He's not he's not real fond of the water. It might just be because it's cold. So Ricky's about 40 pounds, maybe 50 pounds. And I'd say he's a mid-sized dog. What do you say is a mid-sized dog? Yeah. Let's see if mom found any shells. Okay. She's over here shell hunting. Found some polytone shells. I love the way they're all three very different. They are. Woo! Goodness. Very nice. <laughs> He's excited about the birds. I was say, they love a bird. <laughs> It was 40 degrees now, which isn't, I mean, without the wind. 50 degrees. Yeah. Today's high. Yep. Are we expecting rain all day? There's a good chance of rain most of the day, yeah. So it's a good day to put some soup on. Oh, I hear you, buddy. So. All right, let's look at some water for a little bit, chill. Chitty bitty. So most of the day is just going to be overcast. And today's high is right at 50 degrees. And then the rain is supposed to start tonight. And it's going to rain overnight. No snow chance anymore? No snow chance at all. 
At one point we had a chance to snow like a week ago. But guess what? Tomorrow we're gonna see sun. Uh, Yay! Yes. And Wednesday. And then there's gonna be a really good chance of rain on Thursday. <laughs> but we do have a couple days of sun tomorrow and the next day. And it's gonna be warm. Tuesday's gonna be up in the 60s. Let's turn that way a little bit. Let's go up. Can we hold it? <laughs> no. Okay. My back hurts. You're 12 years old, your back shouldn't hurt. <laughs> mm. I fell. Starfish. Yeah. Starfish. What's a not to starfish? Chelsea's just about done with her school project. And it's going to be done early. Yippee. You're doing great, Chelsea. So what is Carla saying? She says, to really stand in awe of God. Oh, sorry. Come on. Here. To really stand in awe of God can make us feel very small and needy. To love and be loved by God, who is so powerful and... Gives us exactly what we need and answers our prayers is hard. To grasp it for us. It's the beginning of our understanding of God when we start to rely on His power. That is when we grow in wisdom, when we ask for direction and learn what He wants us to do. It changes how we live. Ooh. Amen, Carla. We have quite a few people out this morning. And we have another sweet dog from All Four Paws. So if you know someone who's It's a baby one. Looking for a pup. <laughs> Come on, my life. Morning, Lydia. Good morning. Good morning. All right. Lydia, we have a question for you. Okay, what is it? Okay, what does it mean oh, to, to fear the Lord? Oh, to fear the Lord really means to reverence Him, to recognize that He is God Almighty, all-powerful, and that he, he calls the shots. He, he's in charge of um, creation and life, so to reverence Him means to recognize that in a sense the fear is not to be afraid of him although it really is to be afraid to sin against him because um, then we lose all the benefits we would have from him gotcha yeah so reverence involves recognition um, appreciation uh, not wanting to displease him because um, it doesn't work for us. It's not good for him. It's not good for us. And we know that there's a consequence, oh, yeah. right? There's yeah. a, that's a big important part of love and of um, being righteous. His righteousness right. is there's a consequence for evil. Oh, absolutely. And you know, it, it's, this is the, what I love that one verse that says that broad is the road 
that leads to destruction or destructive patterns, destructive relationships, destructive habits that harm us. But narrow is the road that leads to life. The narrow road, which is following him, leads to life. Life in myself, life in my relationships, life in my activities. So all that he wants to give us is for our benefit and all that we reject actually harms ourselves. Sure. Thank you for sharing. Oh, you're welcome. I'm so glad you were here. I'm so glad somebody wants to hear what I have to say. <laughs> Send this to all my family. <laughs> we'll listen to you anytime. Thank you. Okay, Thank you. All right, it's about time to sign out. Is it? It is lifting. You can barely see it. Yeah. <laughs> the pier is way down there. There you go. You can see it there. Oh, it's a beautiful shot right here. Going up to the top. Okay. It's kind of like a hill. <laughs> So what are you going to do with your president's day? I'm going to work. So evidently, it's a big deal in the car business that... Uh, it's a retail day, for sure. It is. A, it is. Boost, it's a, it could be up to a 12% boost in retail sales today. Wow, that's interesting. So I'm going to sell 12% more today. Yep. <laughs> Actually, so there's... come and save with Dave. <laughs> You're so funny. All right, we are oh, going to flip. Like the little song you and Dave sang that time in the car. Save with Dave. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you got to save with Dave. That's right, I remember. That was funny. That was hilarious. We were just goofing around. In the I car, know. A bunch of us. Boy, that's been like four years. Yeah, four or five years. Now. All right, Ricky, it's time to sign out, kiddo. All right, Chell buddy. Bell. Chell Bell. Uh, all right, let's see Ricky Power. Okay, let's see how uncomfortable we can pay to make the pork pie. There he is. He's like, dude. So. Ricky. All right. The Rickster. Well, everyone have a beautiful, mm, beautiful in. day. Yes. Enjoy your day. May God bless you. God keep you. And may you make the best choices. Today and every day. Because he is God, and we're in awe of him. Yes, we are in awe of him, aren't we? Because only he is God. True that. Only he is God. We can't do this incredible ocean. We can't do this incredible dog. Only God can do this. So y'all have an incredible day. May God bless you. May God keep you. May you make his choices the best choices. The only today. choices for your life that are fruitful. All right, All right we're signing out. Peace. Love you. Love you.